Hello everyone, this is MJPW Gaming and welcome back to more Infinite Warfare news and this is actually something leading towards DLC 4. We all know that it's almost September and it is probably coming very very soon and I'm going just by the fact that just like I think tomorrow would mark one year since I was at COD XP and COD XP we was playing DLC 4. Now way back when Zombies was not there to play however the multiplayer was and Zombies in Spaceland was there. So that was the very first time I actually got to play that. I still to this day it was like it was one of the best moments of my life just like well not moments obviously it was like one of the best weekends it's like that that whole event was great but anyway what we're going to be talking about for this video is going to be fate and fortune cards now each dlc so far we've had a brand new set of a few fate cards if not just one and a few fortune cards the fortune cards are obviously unlocked through the zombie crates and the fate cards was permanently unlocked and they are free to use as long as you're up to a certain rank not very long ago but infinity ward they actually tweeted out that if you wanted to get this certain card you can retweet if you wanted this other certain card you can like and it was basically that versus that and whichever the winner was it comes in with dlc4 and what it was it was a pack and heat and this was the retweet card and this gives the player a random two-timed upgraded weapon which doesn't sound that bad I mean if you was wanting to run for like a high round and you wanted something quick and easy you can just do that rather than getting the pack-a-punch open and everything else maybe you're doing a spawn room challenge any of the sort and the like card was skull hacker skull hacker activates the ghost and skulls machine for the player and so you're probably thinking okay so we want the ghost and skulls card to win and well you're right it won so since it has won Lee Ross actually came out and spoke a little bit about the card and people were worried that it's going to be way too easy for players like to earn an achievement or any of the sort or maybe it's just a free perkaholic but he has been comforting people and letting people know that no you can't just do this and get it for the achievement and it's not just the easy perkaholic what I honestly assume what it's gonna do is basically activate the machine like it says as in give you all of the skulls that you have to hunt down and then you can play it and if you want it maybe you can get the perkaholic from that however you do have to win it to actually you know get the stuff so it's not just like a freebie that you get the perkaholic and you get the achievement you actually have to do it and also a thing to note it also says ghost and skulls machines so it may not work on all of the other machines however I have a feeling that it probably we will it might just be called Ghost and Skulls, like for an example. But it might only work for Spaceland. Who knows? And if you're wondering what happened to Pack and Heat, they actually said that this card is not going to come into the game. Only Skull Hacker. Skull Hacker is just one of the few that is going to be coming with DLC 4. As of right now, we haven't heard anything else about the Fate and Fortune cards, but we do know that they are coming. So anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and possibly subscribe for more Call of Duty Zombies content. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.